Okay guys, happy Tips Tuesday. <laughs> I'm excited today for this this week's live and um, I stand with Kids Hope, the founder of Kids Hope organization. That's why I'm wearing the t-shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, they are having a tough time at this moment and um, I just got the t-shirt to support them and to show love and everything that they need to feel at this moment so straight to today's topic we're going to be talking about uh, how to obtain capital for tracking business somebody wrote to me like hey Gina I would like to start a tracking business and at the same time I do not have capital how can I go about it and I want to contain this little short video um, within that scope okay I want to be talking about all the logistics and what, what you need to do to do to do to run a, a tracking business so i'm going to try to just answer that question and then if anyone has a question about tracking business anything else you want me to address i will be more than glad to do that okay and so everybody welcome to the gina Mugai show tips tuesday and this is where you come every tuesday to get, get yourself free ideas free information free guidance and free help so that you can be able to establish your goals and your missions achieve and accomplish quite a lot while achieve all of your wilder dreams and so I will go straight to it I will go straight to the point I see you guys have joined in here already thank you and you're welcome feel free to share and tag your friends uh, and hit me a thumbs up if we are clear and you can hear me and we are in the same page just hit me the thumbs up uh, to make sure we are on the same page so i will go straight to answer this question how can i raise capital or how can i obtain money to start myself a tracking business which has been a passion to me that is what uh, somebody wrote to me and um as i answer this i want to assume that at this point you already have got your business incorporated okay because when you're running a, a tracking business, number one you need to be sure of is that you have incorporated your business. You have registered your business. Incorporation takes like less than 15 minutes. Once you have a name, uh, you just go online and register it. You can register it as um, you can register it as an LLC. Okay, if you are in America, if you are in Kenya or some other part of the world, just know what type of a business uh, they can let you register where you are not going to be it's going to separate you from the business because one thing you do you do not want to do is to have yourself or your property as part of the business such that in case something happens they can come after your bank account your property your car and your house okay so make sure you incorporate it separately uh, protecting yourself with the limited liability so once you get your business incorporated then the next most important thing is to figure out like how how you want to do it how you are planning to go about this because remember uh it is a totally i want to say that tracking business is good but it's very risky okay it's very risky it can be very good at this moment and then in the next few days everything just crumbles on you because when it comes to like um you know, so where you're using a lot of cars on the road anything can happen at any moment right and therefore that's why i really insist that you have it uh, incorporated separating you or having limited liability so that they can all go for the business and so with that then you need to figure out before you make a decision of where to get your capital you need to really understand like um how is this business going to be running am i going to be the one on the road with the trucks am i going to be the one who is going to be driving or am i going to hire somebody okay because the truth is that when you are driving yourself the risk is going to be lower than when you hire somebody when you hire someone out there most of the people and this is the unfortunate truth i'm a business owner and i know this is just how it goes most of the time the people you hire they don't feel or care that much about your business like you do unfortunately some of them will just be there for the money okay and so i see you guys joining in if we are together just hit me the thumbs up just show me some love so uh when you hire somebody when you are going to be hiring somebody to run or to be on the road with you this is especially a question i get a lot from women I help women who are starting the tracking business and they are like straight up first we identify are you going to be driving it or are you going to be hiring somebody if you are going to be hiring somebody we totally need a whole new um 
strategy and plan to go about this it calls for a whole new way of approaching it versus most of the guys who can uh, reach out to me they're like oh hey i want to be the one who is going to be crazy which makes uh um, you know releases a couple of uh, ounces of pressure all right and so what we need to figure out is if you are going to be the one on the road and driving that is going to be different from when you are going to hire somebody so if you are hiring somebody it is going to be more work requiring a lot of preparation way more than when you are going to be on the road by yourself and therefore when we identify that then we are able to figure out like um so what do we do about capital okay benjamin i see you uh Bugonko. good to see you gina a uh, hi EGK michael ugorji nice to see you guys so if you are going to now, when we separate between whether you're driving or whether you're going to be hiring somebody, then we are able to determine the amount of risk we are willing to absorb. When you hire somebody, the risk is just way too high. Okay. When you are going to be driving, the risk is lower, but then there's still the risk. Now, this brings us to the next most important part where tracking business, just obtaining one track is about $80,000. 80000 is quite a lot. 80000 that can sink you in debt that is going to be like taking you over 20 years to recoup out of in case something goes wrong uh, some of them go up to 150 it's a huge amount to just put in there therefore what do you do and this is why the person asking the question what do i do when i do not have this money so it comes down to i want you guys to remember that most of the things that i tell you is that i like to have you guys not be in debt okay to stay out of debt because if you are in america specifically this country or the system of uh, of corporate in america is is set in a way that a lot of money is meant to come out of your pocket or everything that you make is supposed to just come out there's a lot of bills there's a lot of things that you can obtain a lot of credit and loans and stuff like that and therefore most of the people when you come across the people uh, who who immigrated or immigrants who come here we find ourselves in a cycle of like debt a vicious cycle where you're not you're working so hard but then you're not getting ahead you're putting in a lot of work sweat and tears but then you are not becoming wealthy you're not becoming financially free but the main reason of that is because of the debt cycle okay so when you are about to start a trucking business where one truck is going to be like eighty thousand, and you don't have no money it means that you will need a debt uh, to take a loan for over eighty thousand that is a lot of money that is a lot of uh, that's a huge chunk to take up as a debt and therefore what do i advise first of all we are not going to be taking more than just one truck to start remember you don't have money and um it takes money to make money but then at the same time you don't want to take a blind you still the type of a risk okay one thing about tracking is that you can start today and you can go and obtain 80k loan and get your truck on the road unfortunately within two days it gets crashed and maybe you are on the wrong and suddenly you need to take like another 20k to just get it back on the road maintenance is very high the risk is very high on the road even if you have insurance and all of that most of it is not going to cover everything that you need it to cover okay and so with that what you need to do is to obtain the minimum amount of debt that is that you can because before you start it right now i want to assume maybe you have a job or uh, you have a side business or a side hustle you are doing something to sustain yourself and therefore instead of going to take a huge amount of debt which we first of all agree you are going to start with just one truck for now just start with one truck and then let that build up as you learn because um most of the time you can obtain all this knowledge not by listening to me not by learning from youtube or even from someone who has done it you will end up learning more from you doing it for you from you being out there and being you know rolling your sleeves getting your hands dirty that is how you obtain most of the information that you need to know and therefore with that just start with one truck and don't obtain all of the debt okay I do not preach for people to get into debt because I know the system is just set up so that you will end up in debt, in debt, and in more debt. So do not go taking a lot of debt. Just start with one and then take the minimum amount of debt that you can.
okay if you're together just hit me a thumbs up just hit the like button or type in a question if you have any and when you do that you will need to start saving up because you don't want to wake up one day and oh, I'm, oh my god Gina help me help me I need to start a tracking business I want you to pre-plan ahead of time if you do not have any capital and then you just want to go and borrow everything and start off from someone else's money who have a whole share of what you bring in meaning that whatever you make a whole good chunk is going to be gone to them before you even get to pay yourself it means that you are not prepared it could be a good idea but not at the right time it could be at the wrong time so what do you need to do if you want to get a whole loan from the bank for eighty thousand, just hold up you know they just need your money we all want to make money i want to make money but i don't want to make money out of you when you are actually needing help okay just hold up and then save up a little bit if it's going to require you 80k at least raise 20k at least raise 20k offset the debt that you're going to be be taking by at least 25 percent pay it up pay it up and then have a little debt remaining the next thing that you will really need to do is to have a good plan on how you run this business okay for instance if you are going to be having someone to go out there on the road for you you will need to have a whole strategic like mapped out plan you don't wing it you don't wing, wing it and make it most of the people who actually make it they will tell you for sure they put in a lot of work and a lot of uh, managing and micromanaging stuff not not the people it, it, can, it may not be the people but just how things are done for instance you want to know the trips and the routes you're gonna they're gonna be taking the hours they're gonna be sleeping I know of someone who had a really successful tracking business and then um, suddenly one of the employee decided not to sleep which is illegal it, you're supposed to like sleep after every nine hours they decide not to sleep and you think that they are sleeping what they did they deactivated the app so when you look up you see like they are sleeping but they are actually on the road okay remember i told you the drivers don't they may not care that much and then unfortunately an accident happened and boom four trucks down the business just went down the drain just like that okay if you have a good pre-plan and work you map out the way you want things to go and then you manage like the paperwork you make sure you keep it up you, you know how to update yourself make sure that everything is as it's supposed to be because one mistake is gonna cost you the 80k debt that you have taken and worse off if you really 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 have to do this and you have zero income you have zero savings then how about you start with something that you can do unfortunately most of us love the idea of being self-employed while at the same time we actually should take employment for a period of time so that we can be able to raise up the money and the capital that we need instead of just starting bam with 80k worth of debt okay the banks are there waiting for you they are ready for you to go in there they will loan you they will give you and they will even ask you to not pay for the next couple of months but guess what out of that you're gonna end up paying over a hundred k in that debt the interests are high they will not bring all that information to you because they want you to make a decision that favors them okay so starting a tracking business is really good tracking business can um can get you you know you can end up starting with just one truck and within not time within six months you have like a whole fleet of 10 trucks on the road making good money they make a lot of money they make good money but when you have uncalculated risks you can start it you can have your fleet of 10 trucks on the road and overnight just like that bam gone you don't want to have all of that debt following you okay and so figure out let let me recap for you figure out how do you want to do it make sure you have at least 25 percent of the investment towards the loan so that you don't have to take everything as debt if you don't have it save up do whatever you do for work and save up a couple of thousands until you can foot at least 20 percent of the entire debt okay number two figure out if you really want to be the one on the road or if you're going to be hiring somebody in case you will be hiring somebody and this goes a lot to women who i work with they do not get to be on the road they hire somebody if you are going to be hiring somebody the risk is going to be way higher and it's going to be risky for you and you will need to have a whole different game plan versus someone who is going to be on the road if you will be on the road well that is better that is going to be good third you want to just start right sometimes it takes you know it can take you just one mistake that will cost you an entire 80k 
find someone who can guide you find, find someone who can help you assess and set up a good solid foundation from the onset because little mistakes on tracking business can cost you way a lot it can cost you quite a lot so if you have if you are able to find someone who is going to mentor you who is going to guide you who is going to assist you to set up a successful business from the onset because the foundation will determine how you grow and where you go okay so if you're able to establish that go for it do that okay and then once you get it all set up make sure you're able to manage and follow up and assist you don't want to just hire somebody and then sit down and relax just because you've got someone and they are doing a good job that is not how it's going to work at this moment there's a lot of people starting tracking businesses and at the same time there's a, a lot of people getting out of it because they are going bankrupt because they are suffering because they are losing way more than they actually expected and before you know it someone is owing over 200,000 with trucks that cannot be on the road okay the bank will never understand that you didn't have options they will just come after you and after your money all right so if anyone wants to start a tracking business follow those three things that make sure you just have that and then you can go ahead and get started make sure you are able to take care of the risks that are gonna come with that responsibility okay if you feel like you need further information tailored and you know more uh, you want me to like talk with you and help you assist and assess the whole process for yourself feel free to DM me or to write an email and I can help you privately, quietly, where other people cannot read what we're talking about so that you will be able to make an informed decision. Otherwise, you don't want to get into tracking when you are not sure of how it's going to go, when you are not even aware of the risks that you need to prepare for, okay? And so with that, guys, I thank you for coming in and tuning in. It was awesome having you. This is a Tips Tuesday where I come every Tuesday to provide you with free information and assist you. So I wish you the very best. And if you have any questions, go ahead and write to me and I will provide you with more of that. Okay. And until next Tuesday, you guys have a beautiful weekend.